uh, motoring uh, the motoring yeah. public face to face. You yeah. don't. No, we don't. You don't. No. You don't put in any data. You don't entertain motorists. Nothing. No, we provide the system. We provide so the system. What you do is essentially you're the machine, tool, yes. the tool behind Ento it. We are. But yeah. everybody that registers, like itong sabi ni Robredo, the fictitious vehicle would be from a LTO personnel. Probably. We did. Probably. If, if we're talking about the same thing that you have in mind, we were forced to have a press conference about that so that we immediately identified what happened in that transaction. The system audits everything. Uh, each time there is something suspicious like that, we print out an audit of who did it, where it was done, what time it was done. And we give that to the concerned officials to take action on that matter. So I have a, one simple question. If someone wants to register a car napped vehicle, by will, gusto niya talaga, who will do that? And who will stop it? LTO or Stradcom? Saan ang layers of authority there? Nagtutulong ang kaming dalawa. Magtutulong okay. ang kaming dalawa. Oh. Para hulihin niyang uh, tiwaling uh, action na yan. Mali yan, hindi dapat oh. hindi Pero kinakaunti. Pero halimbawa na... gusto ng isang taga-LTO na gawin at gawin yun, magagawa ba niya? <laughs> Kahit may Stradcom na? Well, oh, kami, we, we don't interfere with the operations of yeah. LTO. We just provide. Parang kochi yan, Karan. We manufacture the car, we give you the car, you drive the car. Bahala ka. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay. Now, you have a lot of questions. We can make this fast. Dan Vergara from Facebook asks, What do you think was the motive of ASEC Torres for allegedly conspiring with the Sombilias to take over Stratcom? That's a good question. What do you think was the motive? He was, his, he, he was she. Know, or, or she is being used by people behind the Stratcom takeover. Okay, use. Conspiracy can charge namin. Right? Uh, so, yes, no, I wanted to uh, <laughs> uh, no, continue with that. You had filed an open disobedience and corrupt practices complaint against Torres. That's correct. For the okay. non-payment. For, For the, the non-payment. Non okay. That was the first ombudsman complaint we filed. Now, but are you willing to take that back if she pays you? Mm. Okay. We'll think about it. <laughs> okay. All right. Is it true Stratcom threatened to shut down operations and you had said you're going to go manual instead? Uh, Asak Torres had said that. Did you threaten? No. We no, wrote no. her a letter about the provision of the contract. That if yeah. there are some, uh, you know, unforeseen events like this, uh, what's happening to Stratcom, we should notify each other about the notice of what you call force majeure. Uh, meaning if you won't operate anymore. Hindi na namin kasalanan. Uh-uh. Which means you won't, the IT won't run. Of course, because it's like a motor vehicle. If you run out of gasoline, how will you drive your car? It is okay. a big step backward. We already have electricity, we have lights. So we want to go back to fire. Okay. 700 right. people. Uh, I want to go back uh, to okay. typewriters. Okay. okay, all right. Now, more questions here. Now, how does Stradcom monitor, filter, and check its database to prevent encoding of erroneous entries? such as fictitious registration of vehicles, who certifies the veracity of its data? I think mm. it's still the LTO. Still the LTO. Okay. Yes, th there are certain security rules, I understand, from our IT people. Yeah. You can't enter double plates, etc. Uh, th there are certain precautions that uh, mm -hmm. are done. For example, there is also a very powerful tool, an editing tool, and only a few people can use that to make corrections, yeah. uh, things yeah. like that. So. There are protocols that are... There okay. is always audit trail to the system. Now, now with, with Asset Torres withholding the payment of 1.3 billion pesos, it seems, do you think this has the President's blessing that you not be paid? I, in fairness to the President, uh, okay. I don't think so. Because mm. the President saying he will just wait for the results of the investigation. Okay, okay. All right. Now, um, and this is another one. I, I want to ask this. The RFID, which made Stratcom extremely unpopular, uh, which is, there is no RFID now, but just to go back to it quickly, um, this, the, you had charged over 90,000 vehicles, 350 pesos each, which the RFID was actually a good idea. I've read in, I mean, some experts had said, because it replaces the green stickers attached on the windshield and it's a one-time installation where you can actually have complete data about the vehicle. But the question is, the Supreme Court has ordered the LTO to freeze. On its, yeah, it's status a status quo anti-order until further notice.